Hey, this is Brian with WorshipTutorials.com. This is a tutorial for the song, O Come to the Altar. This is a really great song of invitation. What I mean by that is that it, uh, it sort of invites people um, into the presence of God. And this one is, is specifically talking about coming to the altar of God where our sins are forgiven. Um, it's just really great imagery, really great lyrics in this song, and it's and it's very singable as well. Uh, so on the album, um, it's in the key of B. On uh, worshiptutorials.com, where I sang it, if you head over there, you can see me do an acoustic version of it. I did it in the key of A, and uh, I'm going to use this sort of as a teaching point today because uh, I'm coming. I've kind of had a cold. Um, recently, and so my voice doesn't feel very great. And I would say, if I were going to lead this song today uh, by myself, uh, just on acoustic guitar, I would do it in the key of G. Now, um, on the key of, on the, in the album, there's a lot of acoustic in this, and they actually play it with a capo on the fourth fret using key of G chords. Um, I played it with a capo on the second fret using key of G chords on, on YouTube, on Worship Tutorials, and uh, that would be key of A. I'm going to use the same chords, uh, just no capo. So it went from B to A to open G. Uh, and it's just a little lower. It's going to be easier for me to sing uh, today in this tutorial. So the chords we're going to use are G, uh, C, and I kind of use these variations of these chords for this song. Uh, this sort of is, that's important in the song. Happens on the B string from open to one. Uh, you kind of hear that uh, when you switch from G to C. Uh, there's a D, E minor, and there's an A minor. You can also play an A minor seven, which looks like this. I think that's more accurate to what you hear on the album that A minor 7. Uh, but you could do either way, A minor or A minor 7. And I think that's it. Now the song is in 6-8 time. So to count 6-8 time, you just count to 6 rather than, most songs are in 4-4 four, four time. Um, most, most of the modern worship songs we do anyway. So uh, it goes like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And your strumming pattern is kind of a cyclical pattern. Um, and it goes like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Down, up, down, up, down. Up, down, up, down. I'll slow it down. Down, up, down, up, down. Up, down, up, down. Up, down, up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and it just kind of does that over and over. Now you can embellish it and kind of play it a little more, a little less. Uh, play all the strings or just these bass strings, which is kind of nice. Um, but that's the basic strumming pattern for the whole song. So the intro of this song just goes from G to C. So G to C. If you want, you can kind of leave this pinky planted here, or you don't have to. I kind of like leaving it up. G to C. And then the verse goes G. Are you hurting? C. And broken within? G. Overwhelmed? C by the weight of your sin, E minor. Jesus is calling, back to C. And then back to G. Have you come, C, to the end of yourself, G? Do you thirst, C, for a drink from the well, E minor? Jesus is calling, C. And then you're into the chorus. So I'm gonna play uh, just that intro, G to C, and I'll play the verse, and it goes like this. Here's the verse. Are you hurting and broken within? Overwhelmed by the weight of your sin? Jesus is calling. And have you come to the end of yourself? Do you thirst for a drink from the well? Jesus is called. Then we're at the chorus. One little note on the first verse uh, before the chorus, it's an extra measure of C before you go in. The rest of the song, you don't do that. Um, but the chorus goes like this G, O come to, then the A minor, 
the altar, E minor. The Father's arms are C, open G, Y. Forgiveness to A minor is bought with E minor. The precious blood of C, Jesus Christ. Okay, so out of the verse into the chorus, Jesus is calling. Here's the extra measure, just in front of the chorus horn. Oh, come to the altar. The Father's arms are open wide. Forgiveness was bought with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Then G to C, that's the turnaround. And then verse 2 is the same as verse 1 as far as chords go. Um, before you go into the chorus the second time, it just goes right in. There's no pause. I'm going to play it for you just to show you what I mean. Um, after the second verse, you play two choruses, and then you go into the bridge. So this is what it would be like going from the second verse into the chorus. Uh, from the ashes a new life is born. Jesus is calling. Here we go. Oh, come to the altar. Okay, so if you noticed, it was kind of a quicker jump between the verse and the chorus. So you play the chorus two times after the, uh, the second verse. And then after you hit that, you're going to go into the bridge. But first, there's kind of an instrumental section. And it, uh, it's basically the same chord progression as the bridge. And it's G. to E minor, to C, and back to G, and then it goes like this, oh what a savior, it's the bridge, isn't he E minor, wonderful, sing hallelujah C. Christ is risen to G. And bow down before him, G. For he is E minor, Lord of all. Sing hallelujah, C. And Christ is risen to G. The second time through, you play that twice. The second time through, you hold that G an extra measure, and then you do the chorus a couple times. Uh, but we'll talk about the ending after the bridge. So you come out of the chorus after you play it, uh, kind of a double chorus after the second verse. Forgiveness is bought with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Here's that turnaround section. C to E minor, to G, or G to E minor to C. Here comes the bridge. Oh, what a Savior. Oh, what a Savior. Isn't he wonderful? Sing Alleluia. Christ is risen. Bow down before him, for he is Lord of all. Pretend one the second time. Hallelujah, Christ is risen. Oh, come to the altar. So then you're into the chorus. You play it a couple times through. There is a turnaround or a solo section after those choruses after the bridge. And it's just the same thing as the chorus progression again. So G, A minor, E minor, C to G. And then the outro is actually kind of a verse 
Um, it's a little different. It's a different chord progression. Uh, it's kind of pretty and it's not very common, but it goes like this. Bear your cross as we wait for the crown G. Tell the world is F of the treasure C you found G. So there's an F in there. It's a different kind of a chord. And uh, I suspect, I'm not exactly sure. I haven't listened to the the album all the way through. I think it's a live album. So you could do something like this if you want to transition from a song that you're playing in the key of G to C. That would do it. And then you could go right into a song in the key of C because you've played you played the F, which is the four of C. So I'm not exactly sure why they did it or maybe they just wanted to throw it in there. You hear it on the piano um, in the recording. But it goes like this. So you're coming out of that chorus. Precious blood of Jesus Christ. There's the turnaround. Here it is. Bear your cross as you wait for the crown. Tell the world of the treasure you found. And they kind of end it right there. Um, it's a little bit different of an ending as well. So I have a feeling that the, uh, like the way it ends, it feels like there's more coming. So I just have a feeling that in the context of their worship service that they were doing or this album recording, there was something coming after this that, uh, that isn't on the recording of this song, um, which just goes to show you that you can sort of arrange these songs in ways that, that take people on a journey. And I'm guessing that's what they've done with this song. Um, they've, they've sung a song of invitation, and now maybe they're going to set it up to sing a song about a different topic or, or to take people into an experience of some kind. Um, so I, that's just how it is on the album. So that's, uh, that's what I've shown you how to do here. Um, like I said, you could head over to Worship Tutorials. Dot com and see me play this one on acoustic all the way through. Uh, the arrangement and the chords will follow um, as well. I hope this has been helpful to you. If you want uh, chord charts for this song, you can actually get them from Elevation Worship site for free. So um, I, might, I might throw a link at, in the description or over at Worship Tutorials where you can get these from Elevation. Uh, you get them in the open key of B, so you have to transpose um, if you want to put them in the key of G. Uh, and I have uh, some resources about how to transpose and worship tutorials as well. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.